Hey guys, today I'm here to show you how easy it is to set up the latest version of the Migaku browser extension and import your known words from your Anki decks. So let's get directly into it. The Migaku browser extension works in tandem with the Migaku dictionary add-on for Anki. So before you watch this video, make sure you've installed that add-on first. You can watch the video linked on screen right now to learn how to set it up if you haven't done so yet. Once you've installed the dictionary add-on, then it's time to set up the browser extension. The first thing we're going to do is download the extension. Currently, the extension is a supporter exclusive perk, so in order to download it, we need to head over to the Patreon post linked in the description. If you're studying Japanese, you will also want to download the Accent Audio zip file that's also linked in the Patreon post. Once you've downloaded the necessary files, then you first want to unzip the Immerse with Migaku zip file into your desired install location. Once you've done so, if you're studying Japanese and also downloaded the Accent Audio zip file, you'll want to unzip that file as well. Its contents are a single folder called Accent Audio. Once the unzipping process is complete, which can take quite a while as there are many audio files included, then you will want to place that folder into the Immerse with Migaku folder to complete the audio installation process. Next, you will want to open up Chrome, click the puzzle piece button, and then click manage extensions in the top right corner of the window. You then want to enable developer mode. This will add some options to the top left of your screen. You want to click the load unpacked option and then navigate to the location of your Immerse with Migaku folder and select it. Then click the select folder button. Chrome will then install the extension, which should only take a few seconds. A really cool feature of the Immerse with Migaku browser extension is its ability to track the words that you know on any supported streaming site and on any website you visit. We've made a couple videos that go into detail about how to use the extension on a website with a supported streaming site or for playing local video files. So if you're interested in hearing more about different ways that you can use the extension, then make sure to check those videos out. And today we're going to show you how to import your known words from your Anki decks. Doing this is actually really easy. Simply once again click the puzzle button, then click the thumb pack button next to the Migaku icon to pin the browser extension to your toolbar for easy access. Then you can go ahead and click the Migaku icon and select settings. The settings page will then be open. And if you want to find out more about the other settings that are available on the settings page, then make sure to watch our other videos about the extension on the channel and to check out the Migaku website for a full in-depth user's guide. On the settings page, you will then want to navigate to the Word Data tab. On this tab, the first thing you want to do is select the language you want to import words for. Then make sure you have the Migaku dictionary installed and Anki running and open to the profile you want to import from. Then go ahead and click the Import Words from Anki button. The card type options window will then be open and the first setting you will see at the top is the known interval setting. This is the number of days the interval of a card you're learning must be for that word to be imported as a known word. If the interval of a card is less than this known interval, then that word will be imported as a word you're still learning. The extension will always import a word as known if at least one card containing that word is at or above the known interval. The default is 21 days, which is when a flashcard becomes mature in Anki. You can change this setting if you'd like, but I'm going to keep it at the default. You will also see a list of the card types available in your Anki decks. You can then select which fields from these card types should be searched for words. By default, all fields that are shown on the front of your cards are searched for words. You can change this setting to search all of the fields on both the front and the back of your cards, or you can manually select which fields you would like to import. If you don't want to import a card type, then select manual selection, but don't select any fields. This will cause the extension to ignore that card type and not import known words from it. 
For example, we wouldn't recommend importing cards from a kanji deck or a deck that's unrelated to your target language studies. If you want to see an example of a particular card and what fields are on that card, then you can simply open up your card browser, then select whole collection, then right click the table header of the card list and select to display both the note type and the card type. I'm also going to resize these columns so that they're easier to read. You can then select the card and see which note type and card type it has, as well as the fields that are on that card, which can help you make sure you're importing words only from the fields you want to import them from. After you've made your selections, then you can go ahead and press the confirm button. This will begin the importing procedure, which can take considerable time depending on how many cards are in your decks. While the procedure is running, you will not be able to interact with the settings page. Currently, there isn't a progress bar, but we will implement that in a future update. Once the importing procedure has finished, the card type options will be closed and you will see your known word and learning word counts update to reflect the words in your Anki decks. After you've studied more cards in Anki and the intervals on them have grown, you will probably want to update your known words list to reflect your new knowledge. Doing so is extremely easy. All you need to do is import your words again. Your previous importing settings are remembered so you don't even have to set them up again. Simply press confirm and your word list will be updated to reflect your new knowledge. You can also download a backup of your known word list by clicking the download a backup button and you can delete your list by clicking the delete button. And of course you can import your known words from a backup at any time as well. You can also click the word browser tab on the settings page to view or search for a word in your word list. And of course, best of all, when viewing a show on Netflix or YouTube or browsing a website, you can click the known word status button, then click parse and all of your known words will be underlined according to their status. A red underline means that that word is still unknown to you. Yellow means you're learning that word and that you've seen it before. And no underline at all means that it's a word you know. You can hover over a word at any time and this will show you a pop-up with some extra information about that word and also show you its current learning status at the bottom. You can click a different learning status to update the status of that word or alternately, you can use the hotkeys K, L, and U to change the word status to known, learning, and unknown respectively. Here's an example of word learning status underlining for the various languages the extension supports, including English, simplified Mandarin Chinese, traditional Mandarin, French, German, Spanish, Portuguese, and even Cantonese. Currently we have support for eight languages in total, but we will soon be adding support for many others. Our plan is to add support for Italian, Korean, and Arabic next. Let us know in the comment sections what other languages you would like to see added. Thanks so much for watching today's video. We sincerely hope you found it helpful. If you want to know more about the extension, we invite you to watch some of our other videos about it on the channel. You can also learn more about it by checking out its guide on our website at migaku.io. If you would like to gain access to the Migaku browser extension today, then please head over to our Patreon page. We thank all of you that decided to support the development of Migaku and the browser extension. The work we're doing would truly not be possible without your support, and we really hope that you find value and what we do. As always, thank you for watching and until the next time, see ya.